I have a challenge for you. <laughs> whose fish? She is. <laughs> Who's, whose turnt? She is. But whose lit? <laughs> she is. <laughs> Come to this fucking sale. If they can, can you hear, guys hear me? How do I turn off my posture? Okay. Can you hear me? Carol. Come buy this stuff. I have, oh, I have mugs. This mug make, uh, becomes something when you put something hot in it. That's for real. And then this mug just is, is the way it is. And it's beautiful. So you need to buy it. We are desperate. We need money here, people. We are trying to make things happen. Ever since that tax bill got passed... The GOP night, tax scams left me penniless, and I needed to get the bus home. You have to buy my shit. That's the end of it. Come from 3 to 4, or from 3 to 6. I'm going to leave it here. It's going to be from 3 to 6. You are going to buy it. And then from 4 on, if you can steal it, go ahead and steal it. But it needs to... Go, because we're moving. Goodbye. I have a broom to shush people away. Yeah, we're going to shoo you away with a broom if you don't have any money. But if you can grab it, grab it. I encourage you to steal from me. Yeah, I'm I right dare you here. to. Grab it by the yeah. Grab it by the merch. Grab it by the merch. Grab life by the pussy, and grab you by the ear. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, fellas, do you like good juicy uh, promo wear? <laughs> Find yourself an artifact. Let me tell you. So we, we got some good old juicy artifacts, and a lot of people don't want to buy on them. Because they're expensive and it's an auction and it's they don't trust me. But so we're gonna start the bidding at one dollar. Okay. Do I hear one dollar? One dollar. Okay. So do I hear two dollars? You got two. Do I hear? Do I hear three? I have five. Five. Okay. So five to the woman in the contact jersey. Do I hear six? So we got six. Do I hear seven? Nobody bid it against me. Great. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we've got six. Sorry. I, for, I forgot how auctions worked. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, no, no, you're not kidding. We did great. I just learned something. <laughs> um, so the bidding stands at six dollars right now. Eight. Eight. You've got eight. Oh. Okay, this is all in video, like Kim does. Um, so eight. Um, do I hear any more than eight? Nine. Okay, we got nine. Ten. Ten. Okay, I'm gonna stop the bidding when I get bored. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Why would you do that? <laughs> do I hear any more? Fifteen. 15. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Um, <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, great. Twenty. We've got twenty. Um, but do, I, I need to know right now if it's cash. I have cash. It is. You have cash. Do you have cash? Yes. Do you have cash? Okay, cash is king. Um, and then, so, do I hear 21? Okay, you got it sold. 21. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you have, to have, you have to have exact change. Okay, so look, give me that back. Let's do, let's do this for real. Runs. <laughs> She's an auction fish. I have chocolate on my lip. It looks like shit. I'm also a bald headed bitch. I love it. It's You're so a I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I'm a grandpa. I went for I skipped daddy went to Gramps. Gramps. Skinny Gramps. Skinny, Skinny legend. Skinny legend Gramps. Skinny legend. Um uh, Trixie's boyfriend called himself a chubby legend and that is so funny to me. I'm an obese That's legend. Me. A fucking chubby ass. Obese legend. legend it doesn't work though cuz it's got to be bubba like a da da. The obese is like a not the right Skinny, word. Chubby. Skinny chubby sexy legend or or um Homeless legend works too, but it's sad. Depressed legend, depressed legend. No. Depressed legend doesn't work. Uh, that would be um, that would be mopey legend. Mo I'm a mopey legend. Yeah. I'm a college, college legend. Yeah, uh, mopey wimpy works too. Okay, oh, twenty one. Sold to the woman in the Colleen. beautiful tube. Uh, sold to Colleen, who might I might I just note, might I just note very quickly and 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 clearly that she's wearing a tube top of the most incredible fabric. Good job. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my God. Just made my first sale. I am. I had an edible. <laughs> I had an edible. Don't smoke. Don't smoke, kids. This is opposite day. You do the opposite of thing I say. Ooh, that's a fun game. This is for kids. <laughs> So I realized that my after school program might have to be a little more thought out. <laughs> Ooh, what else is new? Um, love that. Love being consistent. If you have a bunch of great ideas, don't limit yourself. Your limits are only your human energy. So don't use any more juice. Uh, whoa, teeth are looking a little too white. Um, don't tell me what to do, small wee-in. Hell yeah, shit. <laughs>
Who is Jesus? Jesus is my mom. Oh, I look like a crazy person. Uh oh. Can 16 year olds smoke? Nope. Well, they can, of course, but they shouldn't. I'm not watching Dragula at the moment. I don't have enough time to watch anything. Um, I just got a spray tan. You can't even tell. Hello. Oh, thanks, Sav68. Barbara, please, please, Barbara. JK, love from the Philippines, you bitch. What are you JKing about? Like, really take a moment, please. Absolutely. Ookie and spooky and ding dang dookie. Hello, Ookie. Hi, Tan Mom. Dragula's amazing. Tracy Mattel says that. She's a tan woman, mother. She certainly is. Don't smoke. Smoking equals what? Certain death. Oh, thank you to everybody who came to the sale today. It was crunk turned, and you guessed it, lit. Why don't you have a Boston accent? I don't have a Boston... Is this weird? I think this is weird. Oh, fuck. I just don't like being weird. Um, like, really weird. You know what I mean? I think I look weird right now. Who the hell am I talking to? I just think in a movie this would be weird. Maybe it wouldn't. Does people, do people FaceTime all the time like this? They, they certainly do talk in their phones like this. Actually, it's not weird at all. Okay. This is a Q&A, Mama. I, am, I don't know where I am right now, but I'm about to go home. Oh, here we go. This is good. I'm coming to Nashville soon. December 15th, I think. Yeah. Nashville's very soon, so come there. My president. Thank God. You named your puppy after Trixie. Good for you. That's good. I have not listened to Bjork's new album yet. I haven't listened to any new music. I've been listening to the same five songs for the last two years. That's actually true. What were you doing? NYC. Una Banana Fish. I love that. Please come to NYC. I love it. NYC, but not in the winter. Hell no, bitch. Uh-uh. Why did I say... I decided to get a tattoo because my friend Sam got one. And I was like, I love tattoos. I just... I had no idea what to get for the longest time. I do love tattoos. I do love them. I've always, I've always kind of loved them. Because, oh, work, Allie, work, you better, bit, you better work, bitch, Jamie. Hello, James. Hello, Miss Jameson. It's legit 5 a.m. and I'm sober. Why am I awake? I don't know. You should just get up and do stuff. It's an 18 plus thingy. Yeah, it's, yeah, you just gotta wait. Because there's really no place in the bar. It's a bar. It's, you know, it's all drinking. You can't even drink until you're 21, so it's, like, not even worth going to. Shitty juice. I couldn't go. I had to get a massage because my back is fucked up. Oh, here we go. Nope. Matthew Cody Lang. I want to see that so fucking bad. I might get your face for my first tattoo. That sounds creepy. Do you plan on coming to Canada anytime soon? No. Not Canada soon. Fine is my name, lol. What's the deal with ASMR? Oh, you've got to check out ASMR. Autonomic Sensory Meridian Response, something like that. It is crazy. It's a, it's a, a wave of sensations down your back. It's, it's sensual, not sexual. But it's actually, um, it's a great gateway to overcoming light sexual hangups. Not like trauma, but like, you know, light sexual hangups. Especially with sensation. It taps you into sensation, which gets you into your body, which allows you to experience pleasure that's not just visual. That's the problem with sex, you guys. Sex is not just visual. That's where men really, really, really go wrong. They go wrong, wrong, wrong. For women, sex has always been more than visual. That, sex is so tactile for women, and it's so psychological. And there's, a, there's multiple levels to that. It's a, bummer. it's a bummer that guys really kind of just, they miss out on a lot. Straight guys miss out on a lot by being fucking rapers. That's, that's the, the least shitty truth of, of all. Of all those awful shitty truths. You saw my dead dog today? Oh my gosh. Um, I have not completed my JM3 MMMC today, and I'm ashamed. Fake fan. Um, ASMR is the best thing. Yeah, ASMR. Bitch, if you have anxiety, ASMR is your friend. It's the, See, it's all about repetition. It's lullabies. Look at, uh, dun, 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 like the kind of fixed meter. It's the, the metronome. It's the hyp hypnotic uh, pendulum. It's like... It's just the it's the heartbeat. It's um, 
because when the heartbeat is responds by, you know, a, a, anxiety is a physiological response to a threat that is not imminent. Or if it is actual threat that's imminent, it's a, it's a distortion of the effects of that threat or a distortion of the sometimes delusional distortion about the actual consequences of that threat. I thought when I, I had a panic attack on Drag Race and I thought that I was going to die. That's the only time I've ever had a panic attack. One time. I felt like I was going to die. That's what it feels like. It doesn't make any damn sense. I had one time and it was on Drag Race. I've been always very, very, very anxious. I'll talk about this later. So always very, very anxious. And, um, oh, we're doing a podcast. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a podcast. Um, and it's starting in... Um, when is it starting? January, probably January. It's gonna go. It's gonna be great. Why do you hate reputation? Oh, I don't hate reputation. No, I don't. You know, it's so funny. I thought Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's funny. I loved <clears throat> the thing I actually love about Taylor Swift is that is Jay Jolie. Jay Jolie is the best Taylor Swift. Um, no, Taylor Swift has her music is like a lot of it's like manufactured by the best people. So it's 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 manufactured to sound amazing, and it does. Like the mixing, the mastering, the the instruments, all that stuff is you can't come for it because it's top-notch quality. The point about Taylor Swift is not the person Taylor Swift. It's just the rep, what she represents. And that has nothing to do with her necessarily. She plays a part in it, and I love the psychodrama of the soap operatic like antics of her and Kim Kardashian and Kanye and that whole thing. Because if you want to analyze her, which it, there's no point in doing it. It doesn't matter. She's so rich. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, it, it's a she represents white uh, f white female fr fragility and it's um, it's not it's only partly her fault or it's I don't, I don't even say it like that because it's not that I'm trying to tiptoe around it I actually don't care I'm nobody and that's my talent <laughs> but um, she is just uh, she's petty she's Lori Petty she's Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers you know she's just being she's just kind of a petty bitch and she doesn't she's not cool that's the thing I think she's trying to I think her problem is probably that she's feels alienated in the marketplace by the pillars of cool who are of course Beyonce Beyonce is the pillar she's the per Beyonce right now is the perfect it's almost fully balanced if you really really break it down the pinnacle of the apex the zenith of um, art and entertainment. That's it. That's it. And Rihanna is the is a, the, a vanguard of cool. Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga is more a vanguard of good and not cool. She was chaotic. She went from chaotic, but she's she, her, her overtones have had varying qualities, but her undertones have always been consistent, which is good. Lady Gaga is a good person. She strives for goodness. Whether she achieves that or not is 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 um. You know, sometimes not up to her, but Beyonce is the pinnacle of art and entertainment. Anybody who, who's, it, and I think that a lot of, um, I think a lot of white girls are reticent to kind of accept that, and it's not. It's just a fact. It, it doesn't make her Beyonce better. Or, I mean, it, well, it, it, by by definition, it does make her the best. But um, you can't really come for it. I think a lot of white girls are just like they don't get rap music, and that's fine. But for some reason, it's like you know, their favorite has to be better than, and people do it with everybody. Lana Del Rey versus Katy Perry. That's a cage match I would love to see. Lana Del Rey versus Katy fucking Perry. Because what's Katy Perry got? Money. What's Lana Del Rey got? Tears. If I were a Mortal Kombat video game designer, I would pit them uh, against each other and then, um... In this day and age, unfortunately, because the world is so dark, Lana Del Rey wins by default. Well, not by default, but, but for, for good reason. Because this is, when it comes to kids and when it comes to fans, tears will always beat money. Because you want the, te the tears make the money. Sad girl becomes rich girl, becomes powerful girl. Yeah. And then... Katie doesn't have the conviction to stand in the ring long enough to outcry Lana. <laughs> Lana does win. And it's not because she's cooler, even though Lana is cooler. Everyone knows Lana is cooler than Katie, but 
That doesn't make Katie a bad person. It doesn't even necessarily make Taylor Swift a bad person. Although I am suspicious of some of her behavior because guess what? Kim called her out and I think Kim was right. Oh, man. I, oh, I am high on weed. I am certainly high on weed. I'm high on an edible, which I took before I went to get a massage, which felt amazing. Have you lost flexibility from... Yes, I have. Delaney Hart, I have lost flexibility fre flexibility from not doing yoga. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, sad teens plus sad music equals profit. Exactly, Troy Lee, 2020. But you, so, what a, so what a fucking... Um, what a curveball when she was, guess what, doing what on the cover of Lust for Life? Smiling. Sad girl cracks a smile. What's gone wrong with the world? Are we happy now? You never know. Um, so I'm going to go. Bye.